Welcome back to Gray is Gorgeous. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm going to show you how I straighten my bob. So let's get started. Um, so this is what it looks like after I get done blow drying. And as you can see, I from the other video that I did where I cut my hair, I did cut it up another uh, inch. And so it brought it up to this length, which means when I get done blow drying, see all the curl or wave in it that I have. So if you have wavy hair like mine, I'm going to show you how to get your bob looking sleek and smooth. Um, so let's get started. And this will also handle any frizz that you might have. Um, gray hair can tend to look frizzy on top just because the gray hair itself is pretty light colored. So when the light shines through the back of it, it can look really frizzy and this will take care of that. And I've mentioned this before on other videos, but I'll just go over it again real quick. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some of these clips, either these um, duckbill clips um, that you can get the salon style, or you can just get any kind of alligator clips. These are Dollar Tree, and I've been loving them a lot because they're very, they stay in uh, much better. And you're going to need a comb to section out your hair. Any comb will do, and um, you'll need a flat iron, whatever flat iron you prefer. I'm using the Conair Infinity Pro. I've talked about that a lot, and I'm going to use it on setting 15. So what I do to um, straighten out my bob to get it to look nice and smooth is I section out my hair. So what I'll do is I'll take this top part here. And I will give it a twist and I will put it up with the clip. And then I'll go in with my straightener. And I'm just going to do this. Just giving it out. You can go a little bit faster if you'd like. I usually go pretty fast in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and stuff. So. And then I'm doing kind of going into the back there. All right, so then I have that done. Then I go ahead and let down one layer. So I'll grab what I have placed up and I will take my comb this way and I will section out another section of hair. And then I will, oops, don't want to let too much of that drop down. And then I'm going to, going to go ahead and twist that and put that back up there quickly. As you can see, it's starting to take that shape that we like, that nice smooth shape. Of course, if you're going for um, a more wavier bob, because this easily could turn into beach curls over here by taking the flat iron, grabbing a section, and curling it like this, and that can turn into nice curls if that's what you prefer. But sometimes I just like to wear the bobs straight. All right, and then you take down another section. You just do this till you get to the top. And you're taking like maybe one inch sections, I'm gonna say, out. And the more time you spend on that part doing it, um, the better results you're gonna have, especially if you have wavy or curly hair to start. Now, I do recommend that if you have really super curly, curly hair, um, that you may want to turn up the heat setting on your iron just a bit to straighten that out. All right, so now we're getting to the top part. There's still quite a bit. See how there's like two inches there? So we can take another. Now, if you shortcut this by taking a whole bunch of hair, you may not achieve like a, if you have wavy hair like mine, you may not achieve a nice, even smoothingness of the bob. There might be some bumpiness up underneath. So taking your time on this part will, will really help you to smooth it out. All right, and then I take the last part down. This is the top section. And with this section, in order to reduce the frizz at the hairline, I like to take my right there, right to the hairline, and then pull down. That gives it a nice, smooth look. 
And I like mine, since I have some layering in there, I like mine to go to the back. So I do this and I pull the iron towards the back of my head like that. And that kind of makes it lay, instead of making it lay straight, it directs it. It directs it to the back like that so that it has a, that nice. And so that's how you take it from this to this. And that's how you get those looks that you like when you look, flip through the magazines and you see bobs in the magazines and they're all nice and smooth like that, you know. Some of them are A-line, which means they cut up in the back. And if you like that really smooth, elegant look um, rather than this, although this is nice sometimes, it's nice to just have it um, a little wavy. But if you like this look, this, that's how you achieve it, like that. And then I just repeat on this side. Anyhow, I think you get the idea. I've smoothed out my bangs a little bit too while I'm at it. Not a lot. As you can see, I move faster on the bangs because I don't want them to be pin straight. So I'm just running enough heat through it to make them behave and lie down without overdoing it. And I think that's really the, the trick to skillfully using the um, flat iron is to know how much time to allow when you're running it down your hair, depending on your hair type. If it's extremely, extremely curly, you may want to take a little bit more time on that. There, it just really, as you can see, it really just starts to take shape there. Go back in on the top here because I changed my part slightly. So I'm going to go back in and straighten that out too. And same on the back. Same for the back side. I need to over direct this part to the back. But same on the back. So you want to do the same. Let me turn around. You want to do the same. You want to go ahead and separate your hair like this. Same on the back. Do the lower half. And then clip up this part and then do the lower half. And you might need to use more clips depending on depending on how thick your hair is. And then you just do the same. And you're gonna have to do it by feel on the back, but where you just feel it with your hands, maybe, and you go like this. Just take that top layer, rewrap that. And this will give you an even smoothness, and it will also help you if you have cowlicks. If you have cowlicks in the back of your hair, separating this it out, and if you, if you get a bob, and it's a straight bob like this style, and you have a cowlick back here, this is how you handle it. You, you do this method and it will, you'll be able to get, like I have one right here. Um, it tends to separate right there. So when I get to that part, um, because I've done the underneath part by lifting the hair and getting it out of the way, see there, I keep, I'm making this straight here. And that really, really helps control the cowlix. Unfortunately, when you get up the next morning, it'll be back. But you could always try to rerun your um, iron back through it. And if that doesn't work, I have a trick for cowlix. And that is to take some hairspray and spray. So you straighten your hair. 
It's my trick for cowlicks. Get my mirror out here so I can see what I'm doing. So you straighten your hair as normal and then you take some hairspray. I'm using the Pantene airspray level. What level is this? Pantene hairspray alcohol free. There's a level on this. Oh, level two. And you spray the cowlick area. Now my cowlick usually shows up right here. This is where, see that? It'll start to separate, like especially in the morning. It'll do that, and I don't like it. <laughs> so you spray a little hairspray on it. And then, right after, before the hairspray dries, you take your comb and you go down through it. And you pinch it like this. You pinch those parts together. You may have to spray again, and you pinch them together. And that will keep, you know, just, you're just adding hairspray in the area that you want to control the cowlick in, right? So you just, you just control and you're just keeping that part frozen right there so that it doesn't do that split thing where it starts to, that's where you see your scalp and all that. Um, you may have to go do, do some additional smoothing. As you can see, I'm smoothing out. There's a bump right here. So you may have to go back through and just smooth it, smooth that area back out again. Fortunately, that's the downside to having wavy, wavy hair. But. All right, so I think that's it. I'm gonna get this to go back just a little bit more for me. There we go. All right. All right, so that's how to smooth out your bob if you have uh, wavy or curly hair and you want that nice, smooth, smooth look. All right, so thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. They'll show up on your feed when you're watching other videos. Um, click the bell if you want to know every, every time I upload. And um, click like if you like the content of this video. Thanks for Thanks so much for watching, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.